Hi, this is Representative Jeff Morris from the 40th Legislative District Position 2. We're ending the end of the legislative session down here. Budgets are flying back and forth, proposals and counterproposals from the Senate House and the Governor's Office. I wanted to take a second. Um, I had a few uh, of our uh, you know, really fine local public servants from Anacortes come down and visit me on a very important uh, budget issue that dealt with pensions. And I just want to take a second and have them introduce themselves uh, to you because they took uh, time off from their uh, personal time, not from the job, to uh, come down and, and let me know their opinions on an issue I'm going to share more with you about. But uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Steve Monrad. I'm a firefighter paramedic with the City of Anacortes Fire Department. I'm James Wireman. I'm a lieutenant paramedic with the fire department also. And these two individuals represent many folks not only the Anacortes Fire Department, but in the fire service uh, across the 40th Legislative District from Mount Vernon to Bellingham uh, to even some of our port firefighters uh, around the state. And what the issue they came down to talk to me about is that one of the proposed budgets actually underfunds uh, their uh, our match to the pension contributions that support pensions for not only for firefighters but for law enforcement across the state as well. And even though it's a $15 million savings to us in this budget cycle, um, it's going to end up costing us up to $75 million to pay that money back later as opposed to paying uh, now. So it's a good example of a, a short-term savings that ends up being a long-term cost uh, by not uh, uh, funding uh, you know, the, the state portion of the pension uh, 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 basically commitment that we have. So I just wanted to take a second to not only to let you know about that issue in the budget, but also uh, say thank you uh, not only for the work of uh, these two fine gentlemen, but for all the firefighters and law enforcement across the district uh, who are your public servants. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, when you, when you pick up the phone and you need help, these are the guys that show up to, to actually uh, help you out when you're overwhelmed by something. So thank you for all your hard work. Well, thanks for your time and your support. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. thanks. As I mentioned, uh, we are entering those critical budget negotiations and, and uh, like the firefighters you just met, uh, I really need to get your input about how things are gonna impact you and your day-to-day -day life as we make critical, uh, huge decisions down here about what services to cut. Um, as you know, uh, we've had a dire financial crisis um, because of uh, both the initiatives that have passed and so forth and the economic downturn that's happened worldwide. Uh, we are making some severe cuts in addition to the ones we've already made. I was just uh, commenting uh, earlier that uh, earlier this session we already re uh, increased classroom size, took away COLAs from state employees. Uh, and move 15,000 people off a subsidized health care program the state runs. But that was just the tip of the iceberg because we have to make uh, even more cuts in the next couple of weeks in order to have a balanced budget. Um, there's nothing but triaging bad choices, and it's your communication with me that's going to help me make great decisions in the end, or at least better decisions than, uh, than the ones that would uh, adversely impact you. You'll see a number at the end of this videotape uh, to contact me uh, and, and uh, either email or letter or phone call uh, would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much.